Category 5 hurricane is ripping through the Caribbean. Right now, right now it, is in cross, it has in its crosshairs Jamaica, home to 2.8 million people who have no place to go because Jamaica is an island. Her name is Hurricane Melissa. She's on track to make landfall tonight or early tomorrow morning with winds topping 160 miles per hour. As it stands now, Hurricane Melissa is set to be the most powerful storm in Jamaica's history. Meteorologist Amy Metz has the latest. Amy? Thank you, Greta. Yes, this is extremely dangerous. The situation going on now prompted air travel to completely stop yesterday at 8 p.m. You can see Jamaica behind me with its hurricane going right over the entire island. By tomorrow, on Tuesday, we're looking at a landfall. Uh, these impacts tonight are going to be extreme as well, as surge is going to be pushing up anywhere east of that landfall. A wall of water coming in with the strong winds up to 13 feet. That's going to be higher, very close near Alligator Pond and regions that are right next to that eye wall. Kingston would not be surprised to see six foot rise in the waters there, but on top of it, Kingston and other regions along the southeastern coast will be inundated with extreme amounts of rain. I'm talking up to two feet in that location. Now, after we get through this landfall, it's 220 mile per hour wind gusts that I'm expecting uh, right before the landfall, of which the hurricane hunters actually just turned around. This morning, in a statement, NOAA has announced that the turbulence led them to leave the storm. Uh, where they had registered 201 mile per hour wind gusts, we know that the other side of the storm typically has the stronger wind. Now, by Wednesday, as the storm is passing over the island, there will be a pull near Montego Bay from the north, pulling that water and surge into the northwestern areas across the island. Unfortunately, this is going to be extremely devastating. Local agencies there have opened up 800 shelters as people are preparing for the worst. Uh, still, some people were out walking around, but these beaches are going to be evacuated. Just tropical storm force winds earlier able to collapse some of the trees. And now with the heavy rains, it's going to be landslides and more falling trees that could lead to additional issues. In Haiti, at least three have already been reported dead from the heavy rainfall associated with this storm. And as we go through the next couple of days, things are going to be extremely hazardous across Jamaica, leading to power outages that could affect the entire island. And in some cases, these rural areas don't get power back for months. Uh, Greta, please, we'll keep our thoughts and prayers with these people. A lot of nonprofits are out there now. And if anybody wants to coordinate any kind of supplies, you can look up meteorologist Amy Metz or some of those organizations that are helping out. Amy, thank you. Jamaica's uh, in for some very big trouble. Thank you, Amy.